Hello everyone, welcome to my channel where I talk about personal finance. Today I'm going to talk about four money habits that keep you poor. Let's get into the video. The way you handle your money will play an important role in determining your financial well-being. In terms of how we spend to how we save and invest, these habits can either pave the way to prosperity or keep us stuck in a cycle of financial struggle. In this video, I will look into four common money habits that can prevent you from wealth building and going into ways that can help to eliminate them. The first money habit that keep you poor is living beyond your means. One of the most common traps that keep people poor is living beyond their means. It's a scenario where expenses constantly exceed income, leading to a reliance on credit cards, loans, or other forms of borrowing to bridge the gap. These habits create a cycle of debt that can be difficult to break. Living beyond your means often starts innocently enough. A few extra indulges here and there may be a larger purchase than you can comfortably afford. However, when this becomes a pattern without a solid financial plan, it can quickly spiral out of control. Breaking the habit the key to breaking this habit is to create a realistic budget. Start by tracking your expenses and categorizing them into needs and wants. Needs are essential like housing, groceries and utilities, while wants are non-essential items like dining out, entertainment and luxury purchases. Once you have a clear picture of where your money is going, look for areas where you can cut back on non-essential spending. This might involve making small sacrifices like bringing lunch to work instead of eating out or canceling unused subscriptions. Redirect the money you save towards paying off debt and building an emergency fund. The second habit that keeps you poor is no savings or emergency fund. Another common money habit that keeps people poor is the lack of savings or an emergency fund. Without a financial safety net, unexpected expenses like car repairs, medical bills, or home emergencies can derail your finances and force you to resort to high interest borrowing. The way to break this habit, start by setting a goal to save at least three to six months worth of living expenses in an emergency fund. This fund should be easily accessible in a saving account or money market fund. Treat it as a non-negotiable expense, just like paying your rent or mortgage. To build your emergency fund, consider automating your savings. Set up automatic transfers from your checking account to your saving account each month. This way, you are less likely to spend the money before it has a chance to grow. The third money habit that keeps you poor is impulse buying. Impulse buying is the habit of making unplanned purchases without considering their long-term impact on your finances. It's easy to succumb to the allure of a sale or the latest gadget, especially in a world of online shopping and one-click purchases. However, these impulsive decisions can quickly add up and leave you with little to show for your money. 
The way to break this habit is before making a purchase, especially a significant one, take a step back and ask yourself if it is aligned with your financial goals. Consider implementing a cooling off period for larger purchases. This might involve waiting 24 hours before clicking buy or to ensure it's something you genuinely need and can afford. Another helpful strategy is to create a shopping list and stick to it. Whether you are grocery shopping or browsing online, have a list helps you stay focused on what you need rather than giving into impulse buys. The fourth habit that keeps you poor is not investing or saving for the future. Saving without a purpose or not investing at all can hinder wealth building. Money left in a regular saving account might not keep pace with inflation, meaning it loses value over time. Additionally, not investing means missing out on the opportunity for your money to grow through compound interest. The way to break this habit is educate yourself about the power of investing and compounding returns. Start small if you are new to investing. Consider opening a retirement account like a 401k or an IRA. These accounts offer tax advantages and can help you build wealth over the long term. If you are hesitant about investing in the stock market, consider low risk options like index funds or mutual funds. These diversified investments offer exposure to a broad range of assets, reducing the risk of putting all your eggs in one basket. In conclusion, I would say breaking poor money habits is a crucial step towards financial freedom. By recognizing and addressing these habits, you can take control of your finances and pave the way to a more secure future. Whether it's living within your means, building an emergency fund, or investing for the future, small changes can lead to significant improvement in your financial well-being. Remember, wealth, building wealth is a journey that requires discipline, patience, and a commitment to making positive financial choices. Thanks for watching this video and do not forget to subscribe to my channel.